Have you ever wondered where the problems in the world today would exist if we had deeper connection to ourselves, others, and the environment, and acted from that place? Welcome to the Conscious Action Podcast with your host, Brian Burneman, who believe that connection is the key to taking conscious action as individuals and creating a better world. We are here to raise awareness and inspire meaningful action by sharing stories, knowledge, and conversations with thought leaders and change makers. From sustainability to well-being and everything related to conscious living, our mission is to empower you to be the change that you want to see in the world. Welcome everyone to a new episode of the Conscious Action Podcast. I am Brian Berneman, your host. And for this episode, I wanted to explore the importance of spending time by ourselves. I know that this has been for me a huge topic and I know that for a lot of people it's actually really challenging to spend time by themselves. And when I mean this, I don't mean just like if someone thinks I'm an introvert so I spend a lot of time by myself. Um, that's it. Being with yourself means being fully with yourself without escaping, without having so many things outside of you that are taking your attention there so that then you're not noticing what's going on. I feel like we all all of us that we are alive, we need to learn how to be with ourselves, to develop a better relationship with ourselves, to develop a better relationship with our mind, with our body, with our feelings, our emotions, with our energy, with our spaces, so that then from that place, we can start to be more in relationship with others and with those around us. We live in a society that mostly we haven't been taught how to be. We've been taught how to escape. We've been taught how to focus on things that are not here now, whether that is worrying about the past, being anxious about the future, creating multiple scenarios in our hands, watching TV, watching the, you know, whatever news or social media or whatever it is that we do. We do all of these things in a way that is numbing us from our own experience. I know that when I was a kid and I didn't know this at the moment, I was super disconnected from myself. I had no relationship with myself whatsoever. I was super stressed out. Uh, I was very anxious. I was very worried all of the time without knowing that that was what was happening. I remember my parents asking me a lot of times how I was. I was always saying, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm fine. Um, it wasn't until I started to go on my journey and reconnecting and re-remembering how to feel the energy in my body, my feelings, how to be with the thoughts that were showing up in my head, that I started to realize that I actually had no idea how I was feeling up until at the moment. And partly it was because I wasn't taught how to be with that part of my experience. And also because I was doing so much stuff that there was no time to be. I was all of the time either at school or playing sports or doing different activities or watching TV or once internet came uh, to be a thing, then on online. And it's not that we cannot do those things or that those things are bad. It's that because of the circumstances that I had with all of that, and I didn't have yet 
as a kid the tools to be with my experience as I was doing all of that, then I needed the space and the time to be alone, to reconnect, to be with myself, to be with all of the feelings, all of the emotions, to be with all of the parts of myself that I had neglected for a long time. I needed to spend that time because up until that moment, I didn't know how to do that. And this is partly why, even though I love my family and I love spending time with them, I decided to buy one way ticket and to go and explore the world. But mostly I was exploring myself. I wanted to understand more and more how I was. Who am I? And this ever evolving being that I needed to spend more time and nurture myself and to understand myself better. This is why I also, at one point, I moved into the middle of the mountain to a Tibetan Buddhist retreat center. I wanted to keep on exploring myself, my being. And I know that sometimes like people have um, an understanding what self means, but it's easier just to say, spend time with myself rather than to spend time with this being. <laughs> There's a lot that I have learned by reconnecting with myself, by having an amazing relationship with myself. This makes it so that I don't have to escape. I can choose to watch a movie. I can choose to watch a TV show. I can choose to go on holidays. I don't have to. I don't have to numb myself and to escape my reality by doing those things. The approach that we have when we do things and how present we are when we are doing things also dictates if what we are doing is a form of escapism or if it's a way of how we want to spend our time. I remember uh, every time, every semester with all of my students at the university that I talk about different things that can support self-care and a lot of them say to take breaks. And I always say yes, and also needing to take breaks can be a symptom of not being present and not being able to have our life set up in a way that we can be with it. So it's not that going on a weekend uh, getaway or going on holidays is not something that we can choose. The thing is, are we doing that because we need to escape from our life, from our reality? Because we cannot self-regulate and we cannot be and process our daily experience. So again, there's stages and there's moments that perhaps we're going like all in and we need some breathing time. Mostly, I find that people are escaping. A lot of my clients throughout the years, a lot of their habits are about escaping, whether that's drinking alcohol or partying or in watching a lot of TV or whatever it is that each of them has as a way of escaping. It doesn't matter what it is. Yes, some of those are... Um, living to a more unhealthy lifestyle. The thing is, why are they doing that? Why do we do this? Because we're escaping our reality. So I invite you and I encourage you to, if you haven't yet, spend time by yourself. Get yourself to a place that you can develop a better relationship with your experience with your thoughts, your feelings, your energy, your emotions, understanding what are the buttons that you have that people can push and trigger you. 
understanding how to feel everything, how to process the things that you weren't able to in the past. There's a lot of different tools, methodologies, techniques to support you on that. Um, if you need some guidance with that, reach out. Uh, let me know. I can I can even recommend you someone that might work for you, or I might be someone that can support you with that. But spend the time by yourself and see. Notice the tendencies. Notice without judging. Notice. Because when we don't have this relationship with ourselves, we're always going to seek out everything outside. We're going to want someone else to fill the void that we have, whether that's in friendships, in relationship, um, with work, with whatever it is that we're doing. A lot of that is in relationship. People are wanting someone to love them because they don't love themselves. And the more that we spend that time nurturing our relationship with ourselves, the more that we realize that we don't need that. Yes, we can have love. We can have relationships. But that's not because we need to fill that void. So I'd love to know, how has been your journey if you already have developed this relationship with yourself? How are you with all of these topics of being able to be with yourself, escapism, uh, if you haven't yet, I invite you and I encourage you, spend that time by yourself. Notice, pay attention, be with what is happening. Again, if you don't know how to be with that, reach out. Ask for support. We don't need to figure out everything by ourselves as well. Let us know in the comments, whatever it is that you're finding this episode. What's your experience like with that? What resonated? What didn't? And as always, thank you for being here, for watching, for listening, and until next time, bye. What did you like the most about this episode? Take a moment to think about what change you can make in your life today. Share your conscious action on social media using hashtag conscious action and tagging at conscious action and said, so we can celebrate your impact on the world and create a ripple effect. One easy action we would love for you to take right now is to share, like, and subscribe to this podcast. This will help us get these messages out into the world and inspire more people to take conscious action in their own lives, contributing to the better world we hope for.